Hey guys, in this video we're going to be installing the Ciro lighted saddlebag hinge covers. Gloss black are the ones I got with the lights on the side to provide some better visibility. They have a run and a turn signal uh, operation to them and light smoke lenses. So anything you can do to increase visibility is always good and it draws more attention than just a regular reflector. Plus. It's black, so I like that. It matches the trim and the stuff that I'm going on the bike. So let me get things turned around. We'll get situated and we'll start the install. See you in a minute. Okay, so I opened up the box, got everything laid out so you can see kind of what you're going to need. Here is your new lighted hinge covers. Wires attached. Notice that these are pinned. Uh, no connector. It comes with the connector here. Reason being is that you have to put them through a hole when you install these grommets. So the connector won't fit through that hole when you do that. So it comes with those, comes with wire tie anchors, bunch of wire ties, the four grommets as mentioned, six screws that will replace the ones that you use to take off the hinge cover, color serial instructions, their wiring harness adapter, and the tools that you're gonna use are for me, quarter inch drive, small extension, T15, T20, a uh, little small tool to help get the pins lined up, a uh, pilot hole drill bit, drill with a 916 for the hole with those, a pick to help get the grommets in, and then some cardboard that we're going to put back behind the latches on the bag so that they don't scratch your paint when you take your strap off, and then we'll just tape them in place with that. So. Pretty, pretty simple it seems. I'm a little nervous because I'm drilling into my bag. So um, I can imagine, you know, that's a daunting task, but we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty confident that we can do it. And we'll get everything situated up, changed around, and get this process started. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so I got everything switched around. You can see I got it aimed towards the bag here. We'll probably do a couple different perspectives, but at least the show start out. Can't see at the moment, but I have a piece of cardboard taped to the side of my bag here, slid up underneath this latch. Take all the stuff, open up your bag, take all your stuff out, right? Because you're going to be removing your bag and stuff like that. You got two T15 bolts that hold on your bag strap. So you're going to want to take those off. But when you do, support your bag, right? So that it doesn't fly off on you and all that. So. Let's back these little guys out. And they're just plastic screws, so they're not in there real tight, and you're not gonna put them in there really tight because you'll strip it out and then your strap won't hold on. Okay, so now your strap's off, flop that inside. Now you can kind of see where the cardboard's sticking here, right? So just make sure it's up underneath there so the paint, so when you drop this back, it grunts and groans and holds that in. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take out these three screws, which holds this uh, latch cover in place. So you can start loosening them. And these are the bolts, the screws that uh, Cyril provided new ones on. So I'm just gonna loosen them up a little bit. And then I'll lift the bag up and then finish doing the rest of the way so there's no pressure on it. All right, so now I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. I'm gonna leave the middle one in, take the other two out. So I have something holding it, so it doesn't drop off on me. And these are the ones you're gonna get new screws for. So set those off to the side. Ok, 
Okay, that's two. All right, so now we're gonna put your hand up underneath the bottom and hold on to that latch cover as you take this last one out. Put some pressure on it, keep it in place so it doesn't fly off or drop on the floor or anything like that. So you take this last one out. And then while you're holding it, shut your bag. And then off it comes. All right, so reflector in there, everything good to go right there, right? So set that one aside. All right, so once that one's off, you can see this what it looks like. Grab the replacement one. It's got the wire to it. This little guy is going to go right there in its place. So you set it in there. Like that. And again, as before, hold on to it when you open your bag. And give it some support. While you grab your new serial provided bolts or nuts, screws, I'll get it. And I put some Loctite on those. So I'm gonna finger start that one. Okay, so now that's back on there and you can see the black ones on, looks nice. Wipe it down just because it bothers me. All right, so that was the easy part. Now comes the fun part, which you're drilling into your bag. And that's the part that makes me a little nervous, but that's okay. So according to Ciro, you're gonna drill right here in this section on the side. Uh, be sure when you do it, you know where your strap's at, right? So you don't wanna go punch through and rip your strap. And I'm gonna put a little bit of blue tape on here just to help with bit wander. All right. So I'm gonna stick that on there just to make it easy. And we're gonna grab our drill for the pilot hole. Now hopefully this drill will fit. It's a little bit of a big drill. So when you drill your pilot hole, you gotta remember it's a 9 16th hole that's gonna go in, right? So if you wanna do kind of a check, you can put your grommet here, but just remember that has to be able to, it's gonna be flush, but it's gotta be able to fit right in there. And then this is gonna close, so you can kind of see where it is. You look in the back for that. and just kind of get a start for your pilot hole. Just doing a mark on it. You go back in and do your pilot hole. Okay. If you got a really big drill like I do, it should be okay with a little bit of an angle as it goes through. So now that we got that in, we're gonna go with the big bit. Find your pilot hole. 
Again, be wary of your strap in the back. And like that. Okay, after you get your hole drilled, then you can take a deburring tool and just kind of run it around, clean up the hole so it's nice and clean. Do it on both sides, especially with the hinge and everything in your way. So that cleans it up real good. Okay, then you can pull off your tape. Admire your work. And then we'll clean up the inside and all that stuff afterwards. But so now that part's done. So then what you need to do is you need to get your grommet and put it inside the hole. I'm gonna go from the back maybe. I probably shouldn't, I probably should go from the front. So we're gonna go from the front, stick it in. Start pushing it in. You can get your pick tool to kind of help shove it in. So get the, the lip started. Make sure all your lips are out. Like that, and there's your hole. Okay, so now that you got that part done, you're going to take your wire. It's a pretty long wire. Remember, you have these loose pins here, so you want to make sure you're cautious not to separate them out or bend them or tweak them or anything like that, right? So unkinkify your wire as best you can, and then just kind of guide those pins gently in through that hole through that uh, grommet. It should go in there pretty good. Get them on the other side and then grab below the wires. Kind of twist a little bit to help get that cover through like that. Now your strap is back in place, clear your hole, good to go, and you can take your tape off. And just so you can see, that's what I had. All right, so now you got the nice black cover on there, and we will do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll pull this bag off and drill it on the inside. So back in a minute. All right, so I got the other side done and pulled off the left side bag. But I do want to update one thing uh, when I, I discovered when I was drilling the other side. For those of us with uh, larger drills, I found out that as you have this open, if you wait to put on the hinge cover, the drawer, the cover will lay back a little bit further and then you've got a straight shot to drill your hole, right? So my recommendation for doing it the whole time would be let the bag lid hang down against the cardboard that protects it and then that gives you a straight shot for this drill so you don't have to go at an angle or something like that. You don't hit your drill backing in there. So just wanted to cover that one. It was a neat little discovery that I was like, oh, that'll work. So I was happy about that, but all right. So now we're ready to drill the inner hole 
And just as with the other, other side or inside, you've got this little grommet that's gotta go and the wire's gotta go through it. Now, Ciro's instructions say two inches below your bag mount grommet, right? So if you bring that down here, measure that guy's center right about two inches. It brings you down just below this little beveled edge right here, because that's beveled, so I don't wanna do it on an angle. So I'm gonna come down a little bit and go a little bit lower. Maybe not quite two inches to center, but pretty close. And stick that guy right there where we're gonna put it, okay? And you'll see the beveled edge if you, when you take your bag off. So again, as with the other side or the inside, I'm gonna put a little piece of tape to kind of help with bit slippage on it so I know right about where I want to go. It's gonna be right about here. And then there's a little bevel and we know it's about right here. So you stick that guy right there and you load up your small pilot hole bit. Okay. So you got your small pilot hole bit and what I've been doing just because I'm lazy and I want to make sure it's where it's going to go is you get that lined up where you want, take your pilot hole bit, stick it in there and just start a little bit of a hole, right? So you got it and then hang on to your bag. Make sure you got something down on the table to protect the paint on the other side. This is a nice little terry cloth, but it's slippery. so. And we just take this in the pilot hole, plug that in. Same as before, drill that pilot hole. And we switch out this bit. Bring in the big boy. And same premise, just follow that pilot hole. Right in there, try to be nice and straight, secure your bag and just start drilling that hole. Like that, okay. And then we're gonna take our little deburring tool. You can see all this stuff, which a lot of that's tape, but take your little deburring tool and just go around the insides of the holes, clean them up so they're nice. Pull your tape off. See a little bit better on the holes. So just take that in there like that. Cleans it up real good. When you're all done, after you mount your bag, you can take your vacuum, whatever, shop vac and suck all the burrs out of the inside. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so same, same thing on this side. This grommet's gotta go in. So, crease it in, one side started, and then start working it through. I tried to put a little cleaner on it on one side, but all it did was just slide all over the place and make a mess, so I opted against it on this side. So now we're just gonna push this guy in and not gouge or poke a hole in it and mess my bag up. Takes a little finagling, which is good because it goes in there and gives you that seal you need. I'm just using it to push against the rubber, kind of work it down in there. A little gentle persuasion. Keep pressure on it with my thumb. So she's in, open it up. I got my cart here so I can help hold the lid against it. 
take a look inside and just flip those little edges around on the grommet so everything's out and good. And then same thing as with before, you got your wire with the pins, you wanna to try to get them together. Again, be sure you don't mess these little guys up because we have to pin them in a connector after we get it through here. So now we just kind of group them together, put them through the hole, get it to where it starts that insulation, and then pull it through. Like that. Okay, now, the way this is gonna go, it's gonna stick up against the inside of your bag. So make sure you have enough slack to do your run around the inside. I'm gonna do that when it's back on the bike so I'm not dealing with a flopping bag. But just kind of get an idea where it is and we'll pull the extra slack out, tie it up down in there. Okay, so that's it, that's in there for this one. And then we do the same thing on the other side to put that in there. And then once you get it run through, you can put it back on the bike and then we'll clean the inside up and start putting the uh, tie wrap mounts in here and position it for securing around inside the bag. Normally they say go like underneath the lip, but I'm gonna go down a little lower because I have some Hogwarts saddlebag liners that I'm gonna put in and they've got Velcro in different spots on the top. So I'll be placing the, the mounts uh, probably a little bit lower so I don't interfere with the uh, sticky for those things, right? Because the, the bag liners will hide the wiring, which is awesome, so. All right, cool. I'll take off the other bag, do the same thing, get them mounted back up, and then we'll go back and look at the inside and start doing that, so back in a minute. All right, so the bag's mounted. Uh, just lightly, with just one screw for the moment because I'll do some cleanup on the back end here. Keep your wires up out of the way so nothing happens to those pins while you're going through all this. So the next step is to anchor down this wire inside your bag. Now, like I mentioned, I have Hogwarts bag liners that are gonna go in here. And they Velcro up top a little higher, so I'm gonna go about middle bag when I put these in and anchor them down. So I'm just gonna kind of place where I think they need to go and make sure you scratch the back of this stuff up a little bit to kind of help activate that 3M tape on the back before you peel it off. I generally put my tie wraps through them just because it's easier. So this one, it's gonna go down here and kind of hold this one at an angle. So I'm gonna stick this guy right about there. All right, then you go around and clean up all the tails. All right, so now we got the run all in. A little slack here, not just the slack there, so you got some room. You got wire going up here. It's gonna go up in here into the connector once we get ready to go and start doing the wiring. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we'll pull the seat off and start looking at the connections. And then once that's done, then we'll go back through and clean up the back side and any slack wire and stuff like that. So be back in a minute. Okay, 
So we got them all strapped down. Now we're going to get into the wiring. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of different serial stuff in here and a couple other widgets and good things in here. So it looks a little different than it would for stock, but <clears throat> I also have Ciro's four-way splitter, which allows me to do four devices. I have the bag blades, I have the um, panerphilolites, and then I'm gonna use these on there for a third one. So this is about where it's gonna come and I'm gonna wanna connect to these right there. Right, so it'll be the same on either side right there. So, <clears throat> looks like I'm pretty good on length, at least for my application, because I did go the long way around instead of the short way. But we'll see how that all goes once we get it. Now, if you don't have all this, it comes with a uh, harness adapter. I'm gonna put a towel over this because I'm a little sweaty. Okay. So it comes with a harness adapter that normally what you would do on the ST, it's back here, but you're gonna plug into the rear harness, right, that goes back and plug that in and then go into this and it puts it in line. Male, female only goes one way. Also, if you notice, you've got brown wire goes to the right side, violet wire goes to the left side. On the wires, they've got the same matching colors, right? So they got blue, red, black, but they've got yellow. And yellow is gonna be your violet or your brown, okay? So we're gonna cheat and use the adapter that came to get these things wired up. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but inside this pin or this connector are the pinholes. And at the very bottom, there's a notch. And that's where these little fanged teeth go. So if you're looking at the connector, make sure I got it right. Yep, if you're looking at the connector, with the little notch side up. These guys go with the little tip on the top and the two prongs on the bottom and they go in there like that and snap in, okay? Now we're gonna use this adapter to make sure we line the wires up right. So, <clears throat> make it easy. So I'm just gonna plug that in there. So I don't lose the other one, I'm gonna plug it in this one. Okay, so I will start, I guess, on the right side. So as you can see, you've got black, brown, blue, and red. What this would be here would be black, yellow, blue, and red, okay? So we'll start by putting in one of them, and again, the little wide part goes on the bottom, right? So we'll slide this guy in, push him in. Make sure it goes in far enough and latches. And I got a tool to help push him in. These are delicate little guys. Snap, there you go. So all of them are in there like that. And good, okay. So then we'll release it, take a look at the pins, they look good. That's done. Now because I have the harness or the splitter already, 
I'm not going to use the wiring harness that came with it. So all I'm going to do is take this and plug it in one of these available plugs, right? So snap that guy in there. And same thing on this side. Find one of my available plugs. Like that. Come on, fly. There we go, snaps in. And because I have them here and I want to test it with everything, I'm going to plug, hook up my bag blades. So when we do our light test, we can see that everything works copacetically. Okay. So that's that. So let me, I'm going to leave this like this for right now until we test it. And then uh, I'll clean it all up and um, put the seat back on and all that. So let me reposition the camera to the sides and the back and we'll take a look at this how it looks. So be right back. Okay, so camera's repositioned. You can see the back of the bike. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on. All right, so you can see we got running light on this side. Everything else still lights up, so no bad wiring, right? All looks good. Running light on this side. And then we'll check turn signal. Very nice. And we'll check turn signal on the other side. I can see it in the reflection on the wall over there, my stapler. And then we're gonna test hazard lights. It's even got the hazard lights showing here on the side, so if someone's coming at a different angle, right? So that's good. Nice. And so just to give you a comparison, the reason why I chose the black, this is what was on there with just a regular reflector. And then now we've got the black, which matches all the different variances of black coming on there. And it lights up and gives us turn signals and run lights and everything else. So pretty happy with that. All right, so that's about it. I will clean everything up, put the seat back on and uh, call it done. So like, subscribe, post any comments if you got questions. Uh, be glad to, to answer them and uh, hope this was useful and uh, you guys appreciate this and now we're ready to do it yourselves because it looks really good. So thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. See you on the next one. Uh, I took the reflectors off the side while well, I took them.